Hello everyone. So today we are going to implement ride in the train in here is the preview. So we can actually enter the train and ride in it. So we are going to we have we are going to modify this uh, train car object and add proper collisions and also we are going to implement some acceleration also rather than just setting a constant speed for the train so we can just ride the train like this Let's see Let's go to the edge. We can jump out the chair train from there. Here we can see the head of the train over there, engine. Okay, let's jump out. Right, so that's what we are going to work on today. Let me show the acceleration. See, it starts moving slowly and go up to the speed. Okay, let's see how to do those things today. So I have uh, remodeled and imported this rail cars here. So, so the, as the next step, I want to implement riding the train. But if I have also imported the third person starter package and set the game mode to third person, so I can play it. But the problem is, you see, the character is too big for the train. So we need to scale it. And also, yeah, let's set the scale first. So let me just drag and drop this one of these rail cars and uh, mesh. So this is the normal size and let me drag and drop the uh, character as well. Right, clearly it's not large enough. So uh, in, I can actually scale it here, but instead of doing that, we need to apply the scale into the base model because so that the same scale will be applied to this track as well, uh, this train as well. So See this much. Yeah, that size seems reasonable. So the train is enlarged, and also, as you can see, we need to adjust the length and also the engine as well. So, you also need to have the same scaling 0.25, right? And the tray car length, not enough, not enough, not enough. Well, it's too far apart.
Okay, let's see. So, why? Why does this mesh looks weird? Okay, now the scaling is fine, but the train track is now off. The wheels are too far apart. So, we can fix that as well. Mm. Do we have a parameter? Yeah, here we have this half width. At the moment it's 50. Maybe 100 would work. I applied 135 that seems good okay now the problem is this uh, wooden ties they are not large enough and they are in here PCG rail track the scaling is defined here Let's go for three. Ah, oh. randomized. Let's try three point two. Mm, not enough. Well, after increasing the size of the rails, a gap of the rails, I think these uh, ties are too much close and also these trusses are not large enough, see? So we need to fix that. So first this one, spline sampler. Try it. No. Okay. No, oh, that's fine. This one. So the process. Well, we can actually set the skin here. We can increase the scale. Is it why it should be why? What? Hmm. Not fully covered. Right, this scale seems fine. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Now the next step is uh, adding a platform 
to enter the train so let me just add some box here from here we are going to enter the train but Mm, if I play the game from here we can't enter because of collisions why train is not moving that's wrong let's do again see What's wrong? Track is there, train. Trail track reference is also there. The track plan is not initialized. Why is that? I do initialize it here mm, but just in case let me copy this into the begin play also yeah now it's moving I can ride on the train but not inside the train so yeah as the next step oh, it's like uncharted it's cool actually so oh <laughs> okay so let's fix the collisions I let's see what's the current how the current what did I report and show the collisions yeah these collisions not going to work let's manually add collisions uh, mm. let's go to front view we can modify the collision like this scaling let me disable the scaling snapping and control D to duplicate uh, from the right side yeah it's already correct again go back to the front can I press hold and move yeah you can duplicate by doing pressing alt and move it now it has to rotate correctly 90 degrees okay but this shouldn't be a fully block shouldn't be fully blocked so We only need the door. To enter. So let's leave the door. 
and cover the rest press sort move uh, wait a minute we should not cover this door and we are not covering it Right. Uh, this to press out more. Another one here. Old track. Say like this and this. Both old track. Only one of them is duplicated, no problem. Okay, the collection is complete. Now I should be able to enter, but we need some time before the train moves. So Let's control the speed. So in the beginning the speed is thousand. In the begin play, let me make it zero. And add a delay of five seconds so we have enough time to enter the train. Then set the speed to thousand. This will instantly make the speed thousand. It will not accelerate, but we will see how to accelerate it also. Right. See, now we are moving inside the train. Bend is too tight. Oh. This should be more much wider than this because we don't have any space for seats. But that's some topic for another day. Oh, I got up. All right. I'll 
quickly implement some acceleration also for the train. Uh, yeah, let me duplicate this and call target speed. So that's also by default. I'll make it zero. And after five seconds, you don't need to change the speed. You only need to change the target speed. Then Here we can get we can set speed by getting the speed in tab to target. Right. Let's add the third person character here and possess it. Is it moving? Oh, I have got it. Silly me. That's still pretty fast. acceleration ah, that's it We should have some kind of a support here to go without jittering. Well, actually, we can add some fake collision to fix that, or we can just simply make this a bit longer. smoothly okay uh, so thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye